of Vipingo Ridge. The question I want to invite honorable senators, and I want I request that you listen to me. I was told yesterday that uh, Vipingo Ridge, the two sons of His Excellency the Deputy President, are mere directors, and that the shares are owned by the estate of the late Derito Gashagwa. But then you ask yourself, all of you here, you have children, why would my why would my the, my brother's children own my estate and not my children? Why would my brother's children be the ones who are directors in my estate and not my own children? If you die today, will your children be the ones being directors of your properties or it is the children of your brothers? Don't you see this is suspicious? It is obviously suspicious. Number two in law, and I want to challenge anyone. An estate, what is an estate? An estate is the totality of your belongings. So can an estate own an estate? It is administrators. We would expect that the executors in the estate who are named in the will are the ones who would have been named in the shareholding. And we know all these trick games that are being played around to hide ownership. And that, because I talked about circumstantial evidence, that is to be compared with the affidavit of Mr. Jomo. In terms of how Jomo was approached to be proxy in buying the property, and how Jahenda, the question that has been asked, is the one operating the accounts. And we have been able to show that the same Jahenda, the same lady who works at the DP's office, is the same person who is the manager at the hotel and is the one who is operating the accounts. So I invite you to see the web of secrecy, the web of conspiracy, it is a web. And this is why I said these are white collar crimes, they are done by intelligent people, sometimes it becomes very difficult to get direct evidence, but in the totality of the circumstances, it points to money laundering and corruption.